Coach, the Big 12 is, has come to stay. What are your thoughts on the game? Um, I thought it was, uh, the Cougar Nation was unbelievable tonight. The venue was incredible. Uh, I thought Cincinnati was really good. Uh, they were really relentless at the rim. Um, and uh, it was a big time game. And, and uh, so this is awesome. Like we are, we're getting what we signed up for and we're excited about the process. There were some very entertaining back and forth in that first half and early in the second half when the roof was ready to come off. Guys were smiling and firing and then, and then something changed from Cincinnati's side that affected you offensively. What was it? Well, um, they really spread the floor, and they really did a great job getting to the free throw line. They got to the free throw line really consistently. It slows down the game. It kind of put us on our heels a little bit. Um, we were trying to find answers there. That was that was problematic. And then, um, you know, we kind of we had um, we were a little bit bipolar in the second half in terms of having some really really forceful plays where we were kind of creating offense out of out of hard cuts getting paint touches and kind of moving the ball and then we had a lot of possessions where we just kind of gave into the physicality of the game and we just need to do that more consistently and that's why you um, play these games and that's why you jump in a league like this is because it it it, it exposes things and teaches you and and so we're excited to grow not many nights when the shots don't fall so far this season when they don't fall and you call a timeout and look into the eyes of these shooters what 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 is the coaching part what do you tell them well we're, we're not as nervous about um, as as the shots not falling is I felt like we lost our intensity on on our on the offensive glass um, we knew coming into this game that it was going to be a game where you know they're the number one defensive rebounding team in the country and and we knew that it was going to be a game where um, we we're going to have to kind of keep coming in waves and waves and waves and not get frustrated and I felt like we got distracted with the flow of the game in the second half and and so we just weren't consistent these are our lowest wedge numbers that we've had um, this year by far and it's just it's just the energy of the game and and, and we're going to learn it this is and this is the way you learn and so um, that's the part of this that's the that's the counter to this the way we play that's so important and we, we didn't execute it the way we normally do tonight after Trevin Nell's ninth three pointer uh, he went to the bench for a break stayed there for a long time did he stay too long or was it just the rotation. Um, no, I thought Trev had a great game. I thought he was really, really special. I thought he was really special on the defensive end. Um, I thought he was special uh, bringing energy. Um, you know, he's, uh, he continues to, to be such an important part of our team on both sides of the ball. I thought he was, I thought he was really terrific on the defensive end also tonight. And so um, he's, he's, he's making a massive impact on the game for us. Fusini Traore is back. Uh, you weren't sure what you were going to get out of him. What did you like that you saw? Uh, well, it was just comforting to have him in there. He still doesn't have his feet or his legs back, um, but he's, it's going to come back quickly, and um, we really need him. He's going to be really important for us, and, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll kind of uh, work him back into what we're trying to do, and it's exciting for us to kind of be approaching a space where we're close to full, full strength. For the first time in a long time, you got a game on Tuesday night. You've got Baylor, road trip. These next few days are critical. It starts with a day where you don't practice at all. Yeah. So and it's perfect. Um, the guys will do more important things on Sunday and then and then um, uh, you don't have a chance to really rehab their their bodies and their hearts and their minds. And then it's a one day prep for you know a, a, essentially a top 10 Baylor team on the road. And and um, that's the beauty of this league. And, and um, we're, we're really excited about it. Coach thank you. Okay, thank you.